Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing or working with the move tool. Basically, see, you have dimensions whenever you move something. You can move it to the center and it'll have lines that center it up like that. If you drag it down here, um, you have lines that still centered up and back to the top. Anywhere. That's the basic part of moving a picture around like that. And if it's over here, if the picture's off, you can move it back over here, like this. And as you can see, there's like dimensions, 208, um, 0 .000 inches um, on the screen. And it'll really help when centering a picture, like so. So next thing we're going to do in this video <clears throat> is go over how to move like an object. So if I go up here, slowly, to File. Um, you don't get open if you're going to place it right over here. What you're going to go down to is go down to Place Embedded. And then whenever you go to Place Embedded, find your stuff. I'm just going to simply go here and choose like an arrow picture that I use for some of my thumbnails, which I'll be doing a video on later on. Right here, you can you can just move it with this without even having to go up here and click this, but it's probably recommended if you want to like find the best dimensions and stuff. Like if you want to center it, you can like, um, let's see, if you want it that right on right on those lines. But if you actually want to like center it completely, you can actually find the, you know, center lines and side lines like that, which um levels it up with the, this chest right here, and this person. That's the move tool right there. If you want to make this bigger right here while moving it you can go up here to edit move down to free transform transform is for like scaling and stuff you can do you can do that too but i like free transform or you can press control t um, i'm gonna try pressing control t to show you so control t on this see now you can move it again and to make it bigger you can just go up here to the top corner of this little i don't know what that's called but it looks weird it's like a little square and you move it you can move it to make it bigger smaller and you can once again center it. You can also let me do one more example. So if I have like a victory royale overlap and stuff like that, or I can just put it side by side and make it look like like that. Okay, let me go over one more thing before this video ends. So if you want to put this on top of this, I'm gonna put this behind this for now. Watch, and then since it's behind there, and you don't want that, you can go down here to the layer. And then take this, take this one right here, hold your mouse down or um, D-pad, whatever you're using and stuff, and drag it above here. Now this is in front of it. You can get it centered how you want it. And if you don't want that, you can go once again, go down here and drag it back up. And now it's on top. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something today about the move tool. If not, then let me know in the comments below and I'll probably redo it if you want me to. But yeah. Stay tuned for the next tools and tips. I'm going to be going through all of these, like I said. So make sure if you need any help, just stay tuned and watch my following videos. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and always remember to have a great one.